Hi guys and welcome to another Divi tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well in our last video we created this sort of home page slider. We're building up the home page now with call to action buttons and images and things. What we're going to do in this one today is we're going to build this little sail banner here. Huge sail banner. We'll have a bit of fun with that and it's a great thing to catch people's eyes on your site. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down and let's get rid of this section right here. Okay, so I'm going to create a new section. Little blue button right there. I'm going to make it a regular section. And I'm going to add a two column row. Well, I think I'll have one column slightly bigger than the other because in the next video we'll probably do that countdown time, timer with the call to action button. So I'm going to grab that one. We can always change this at a later date. Inside here I'm just going to use a simple text module. Divi comes as standard with all these modules, plenty enough to build just about any site. If you want to take it for a test drive you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. Let's add a text module. And inside, I'm just going to say huge sale. And as we're going to add a countdown timer later on, I'll say three days only. There we go. And if I move this out of the way, you should see that in there. And that's really unexciting. <laughs> so let's go about styling it, shall we? Okay, the first thing I want to do is give us a nice colored background here. I'll use the purple color I've been using everywhere else. So I'm just in content, gone down to background. I'm going to copy my purple hex code and put it in there. There we go. Okay, so we've got our little banner going on there. Next up, let's style our text a little bit. Well, the first thing I want to do is give it a bit of spacing all around. So I'm going to go down to spacing and let's say give it 50 picks all around. Just put in the 50, it'll put in the picks, hit chain, it'll do the opposite side for you. Same over here. If you want to use percentages or M's, you just write that in there instead of the picks. All right, now let's go to our text. Now for our huge sale there, Go back to the content. I want huge on one line, then sail underneath it. So back to content and text. I'm going to get rid of that gap right there. But instead of just pushing the enter, if I push the enter, it'll drop down two spaces. I don't want that. I just want it one. So just hit shift and enter. There we go. That's what I want. Back to our design tab, to our text. And I'm going to make it all white. I'm also going to capitalize it all. There we go. Now let's go on down to our heading text, which is going to be a huge sale. So if I remember to make it a heading, which I did not, to make it a heading, I just need to select it. And we'll make it a heading one or heading two, whichever one you want. And as you can see, it's grown a little bit there. But I'm not really happy with that font. So let's go back to the design, down to heading text and select a different font. By default, Divi comes with a huge amount of fonts. And if you roll over them, they'll show you what they look like. I'm just going to use one that I've used recently. Let's use that one. And as you can see, the heading text has changed there. Now, I want it a lot bigger. I think I want it white. And I certainly want it in the middle. Let's bring up the text size. something like that and we'll give it a bit of text shadow on large font sizes like this I think text shadow works quite well so that's fine let's move on down to the actual text itself let's close this one up and the text is just above here and again I want this in the middle I've already capitalized it I want it to be white also let's make it a bit bigger Put it in the middle and again I'll use a bit of text shadow there. Fantastic! 
So that's shaping up now. Last thing I want to do to this is give it a little bit of box shadow on the bottom. There we go. Okay, well I want it to link now to our sales pages. So to do that, let's go back to the content tab and we'll hit the link button. And again, we can use Divi's dynamic content feature, which will select anything from the database for us. If you hover over it, that little disk icon will appear. Just left click on it. Go down a page link or wherever you want to link to. It'll show you your pages. Just click on there. There's a list of the pages. And let's link it to shop test, which is the only shop page we've got at the moment. So that's good. Now let's say when people hover over it, let's change that background color. So let's go in the background again. Where it says background up here, just click on the little arrow. If those icons aren't there, just roll off of it and roll onto it and they'll appear. We want to click the little arrow. It'll give us two states, a desktop and a hover. Desktop is when a mouse is not on it. Hover, funnily enough, is when a mouse is hovering over it. So let's change the color to blue on that one when they're hovering over it. And also, let's make it grow a little bit when they're hovering over it. So let's go over to design, down to transform, and there it is. But again, we only want it to transform on hover. So let's hover over, get the little arrow, and hit the hover state. Now, we've got that checked, so it'll do both sides at once. How much do we want it to grow? Something like that. That's fine. Great. And the last thing I want to do is just go to our advanced tab and I want to make a transformation or the transition time a little bit slower. 300 milliseconds is the default, which is really quick. I'm going to pull this up to maybe a second or so. You can type in a value in milliseconds or use the slider, fine tune it with the little arrows there. Let's save that and see what we've got. Save the draft or publish the page. Exit the Visual Builder. And there we have it. We've got our little sale banner. When you hover over it, it grows and expands like that. And when you click on it, it takes us to the sale page or wherever it is you want to take your visitors. So there you have it. There's how to create an animated sale button for your Divi e-commerce store. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.